<laughs> now get a serious FOMO. Hello piggies and hello everyone. Piggies, take a cucumber. Do me, not used to eating from a plate. Happy piggies. Today is going to be an exciting day, hopefully, because I'm going to let the guinea pigs do floor time and I'm going to sit with them outside and I'm going to attempt to get Fitz to come up to me and cuddle me. We'll see how that goes. So usually I always sit outside and have the little um, pillow outside with me and then the guinea pigs are just running around outside and I can cuddle them and this is what I'm going to do today. As you might remember, that's part of the taming process that I always go through with the guinea pigs. So I want Fitz to be comfortable enough to also hang around with me outside. This is my plan for today. I'm going to let the guinea pigs out and I'm going to cuddle them. And Fitz, we'll see how you're going to react. Also, in case you're wondering, Lulu is currently outside with me. And you might be able to tell from all of that fur on the floor that it's time for trimming Lulu's hair. What? I have some pea flakes on the fleece liner which Lulu is snacking and I'm going to attempt to bring some form into this mess of fur. Okay, so I wanted to film a time lapse of trimming Lulu's hair, but Lulu was totally not having it. She really didn't want her hair cut, so I pretty much spent the time trimming the hair and then also trying to stop her from running away, so I couldn't really adjust the camera. Lumi apparently is very interested in Lulu's new fur. But Lulu is not too happy about Lumi's behavior. Lumi, do you want a new haircut as well? You are not a long-haired guinea pig though. I'm taking it as all of the other guinea pigs are just very jealous of Lulu's new hair trim. Ah, Fitz is also <laughs> checking out Lulu's new hair. Nugget. Still a little bit shocked that Lulu was allowed to go outside the cage and stick her head into the pea flake box and Nugget wasn't. <laughs> it's meanwhile again trying to eat the camera. Just very, very wild pigs today. Also Fitz, like every baby guinea pig, is constantly sitting on top of things. Okay. Let's get the little pet bed that I always use. Oh wow, I found forage. Piggies! <laughs> Didn't know that we had that. Cool, the guinea pigs get some snacks. This is where I keep a lot of the guinea pigs items. Um, you can see there are some bowls. The little chew bowls that Gatsby really likes. A water bottle in case we put the other one in the dishwasher. And also some things I used for filming a video. So, this is the pet bed, and I guess, first of all, I'm going to vacuum it. This group of guinea pigs doesn't need the lock, I believe. Megan <laughs> is so ready to be outside. Okay. Nugget is ready for some cuddling. Let's put the pet bed right here. Hi Gatsby. Gatsby's definitely that good. And Nugget found the pea flake box. Good job, Nugget. Just wanna show you Lulu's behind. One of the problems is that Lulu's fur just grows all over her behind and when she pees, she pees on her fur. So it's very important to keep it trimmed um, right where the brown fur is. It's really funny because from afar Lulu's behind looks very dirty but it's like really just brown fur. It's not like wet fur, it's really brown colored. <laughs> there is no particular reason why I put this pet bed here. I just really like to do it. I like for the guinea pigs to hop onto the bed and then um, up onto me and cuddle a little bit with me. Gatsby next to me checking everything out. As you can see, 
you don't necessarily need the pet bed. I just need a reason to use it, basically, because we have it. <laughs> and, you know, I need to justify purchases. Though I feel like my mom bought this. In any case, the guinea pigs really love it, and you can see Nugget is already checking it out. But you can also see that the guinea pigs don't really need it. They come up to me to cuddle anyway. Mm, Gatsby, you're having a good time, huh? Gatsby! I want to do this to get Fitz used to me. I want her to be very comfortable outside because obviously being outside is a whole different ball game than being inside the cage because the cage is their safety zone basically. So I want to get Fitz to be very comfortable around me. Nugget found all of the P-flakes again! <laughs> Good job Nugget! But another reason is also that very often people comment on my videos Don't you ever take the guinea pigs out of the cage? Don't you ever pick them up? And I do, obviously, when I give them a health check or when we go to the vet or when I have to trim Lulu's hair because like, let's be real, Lulu is not coming out of the cage voluntarily. Um, so I do take out the guinea pigs. Nugget especially is very easy to pick up. Sometimes I also pick up Nugget for fun because Nugget doesn't really mind. But it is true, I don't just pick them up just because um, or because I want to carry them around the apartment. I pretty much never carry them around the apartment. I prefer the guinea pigs come to me and I prefer to sit on the floor with them so that they get to decide when they want to end lap time or when they don't want to cuddle me anymore. That's totally fine, the guinea pigs get to decide when they want to stop everything. But of course, the whole entire thing is not entirely fair because I'm totally bribing them. Not that any of them really mind being bribed. Gatsby. Nothing to see here, I guess. Look, look. <laughs> Nugget has serious FOMO. Hey, Gatsby! So one of the reasons why I like doing it this way is that Fitz has the opportunity to climb on Nugget. One of the reasons why I prefer to let the guinea pigs decide how much they want to be cuddled is, well, I just think it's nicer for the guinea pigs, but also I feel like the guinea pigs really like enjoy coming up to me. We did this video, I think last year during Pigmas, where I fed the guinea pigs some parsley and just was sitting next to the guinea pigs tower and like the guinea pigs bridge was right behind my face and Gatsby walked up the ramp to the bridge and was kind of sniffing my ear and trying to lick my face because she wanted some parsley. And I feel like Gatsby and I have this awesome connection because Gatsby knows that she's usually allowed to call the shots. Gatsby's getting the last of the P-flakes from my hand. You're just so very adorable. Nugget? No. No carpet time. But look at me just picking up the Nux. And Nugget doesn't mind. Gatsby, I think you have to move because Lulu is here as well. Can you even see Lulu? Yeah, you can. <laughs> if it's climbing on Lulu. Hey, Fitz! <laughs> like it is just. It's almost tipping over the pet bed. <laughs> Gatsby's like, feed me! I'm sitting here. <laughs> hey, Fitz! You are very tame already. Oh. Lumi just bit Fitz. Fitz! Fitz is like, why are you ignoring me? Stop ignoring me, human! I'm right here! Fitz, I see you, but you got at least five or six P plates already! Oh, Gatsby. Who drooled? I'm not drooled on them. Or Pete. Lumi, yay! There you go, Lumi. So if you first get your guinea pigs, definitely one thing that puts me at an unfair advantage is the fact that pretty much all of my guinea pigs are tame, so Fitz is going to see what, how the other guinea pigs behave and is going to copy that behavior um, because guinea pigs are strong in numbers, so they pretty much rely on their herd 
and they will follow these cues. So Fitz is going to see that the other gu guinea pigs don't really mind coming up to me and like taking food out of my hand. So Fitz is probably going to copy that. Um, so if you first get your guinea pigs and they don't come into an already existing herd, obviously that's a little bit more difficult because you actually have to tame the guinea pigs without them relying on the other guinea pigs. Gatsby, you are just really hungry. I think I'm going to open these two plates because Gatsby doesn't really like them that much. She usually starts eating them and after a couple of days they're just too thick for her and she doesn't really like that they're this hard. Um, so I'm keeping the other ones for Gatsby, um, the softer ones. So when she reaches that stage where she doesn't want to eat them anymore that she does have some pea flakes. Hmm, Gatsby? Yeah, you don't like them that much. Because we don't want Gatsby to go empty, huh? As if Gatsby ever goes empty. Fitz, <laughs> he's just sitting on top of Lulu. You know how Nugget stopped doing this and stopped climbing on other guinea pigs? Well, she's now doing it again because she sees Fitz doing it, so she's joining in and she's also climbing on other guinea pigs now. Like, it seems to be very scared to lose the baby status. You will always be the baby of the herd nugget, that's okay. <laughs> nugget, you are the best. There you go. Okay, change of perspective. This is what it looks like from my perspective. Nugget. See, I do pick up my guinea pigs. <laughs> Especially when they're getting into the pea flakes. Oh, Nugget. Abrupt end of things because my food is ready. In any case, I just realized how long this vlog is already. So I'm going to end it. The guinea pigs are going back inside their cage. Okay, piggies. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video. And see you guys next time. Bye. Okay, piggies, back inside their cage. Come on. Pea flight time's over.